Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jerry Carr, 2022 president of the USA section of the International College of Dentists. I'd like to give you a preview of today's convocation ceremony. There will be two parts to this event. We will begin with a 35 minute fellowship orientation program where you will learn more about the prestigious Worldwide Dental Society we know as the International College of Dentists. Today, you will be given an understanding of our parent organization, the Worldwide College, as well as our own USA section and its structure, its mission, and its core values. Immediately following the orientation program, we will begin the convocation ceremony. During that ceremony, each new fellow will be formally and individually inducted into the USA section. We are honored to welcome you to our organization, and we look forward to getting to know you better. I'm sure I speak for all the ICD fellows when I say we are delighted to have you in fellowship as part of our mission to serve others. Now I wish to introduce Dr. Michael Badalik, Chair of the Fellowship Orientation Program to kick off today's festivities. Dr. Badalik. Welcome 2021 inductees, ICD fellows, friends, and families joining us virtually for today's Fellowship Orientation Program, or FOP. I'm your program host, Dr. Michael Badalik, Chair of the Fellowship Orientation Program Committee. The purpose of our program today is to familiarize you with the basic tenets of the International College of Dentists, the USA section. Who we are, what we do, what we value, and where we see our organization going in the next five to 10 years. The USA section was chartered in 1934, and in 1939, Dr. Justin Towner, a former USA section president, designed the college key that was soon adopted as the ICD symbol. You each received your own personalized key. That's this guy right here. Check the back of it because your initials are on it right there. You receive that in your new fellow package, and I hope that you will wear it with pride on Convocation Day, and you also wear later your ICD lapel pin like you see on my blazer. Mm -hmm. Today, the International College of Dentists has grown into the preeminent international honor society in the world. The USA section is comprised of just over 6,000 fellows who exemplify our core values of integrity, leadership, and service. To be admitted to the ICD is a privilege and an honor that very few dentists earn. And if you're like me back in 2011, when I was a new fellow, you're probably feeling both humble and proud. Welcome to the ICD and congratulations. Please follow the sequence of our virtual FOP as found in the program packet sent to you via email. I want to now introduce our first distinguished speaker of the program, our USA section president for the volunteer state of Tennessee, Dr. Gerald Carr. Jerry will tell you a little bit about our mission and vision. Thank you, Dr. Bedalek. It's my honor and privilege to welcome you to the George D. Stelfridge Fellowship Orientation Program of the USA Section of the International College of Dentists. Today, we're excited to tell you more about our prestigious honor society into which you will soon be inducted. Each of you has been recognized for your outstanding contributions to dentistry and to society. It is our desire that you experience this occasion to its fullest. On behalf of the fellows of the USA section, I would also like to extend a warm welcome to the families and friends of this year's new fellows who may be watching today. At this time, I would like to introduce other ICD officers and guests who we are privileged to have with us as part of your orientation program. From the USA section, our president-elect, Dr. Risa Martin of Lake Hills, Texas. Our vice president, Dr. Daniel Freed of LaPointe, Indiana and our USA Section Foundation President, Dr. Ed Morris of Kingsville, Maryland. From the Worldwide College, we are delighted to have with us our Worldwide President, Richard Smith, who is here to congratulate you and share his greetings. All of us wish to extend our thanks and appreciation to the Fellowship Orientation Program Committee, their Chair, Dr. Michael Badalik, and the US Section Office staff for their work and effort in presenting this year's program. 
Let me take a few minutes to share with you the ICD's mission and vision. The mission of the USA section of the International College is fourfold. First, to recognize and promote excellence in leadership with an emphasis on service to others. Second, to provide support to our fellows and our professional peers. Third, to address oral issue needs and education worldwide. And fourth, to foster an atmosphere of collaboration with those who share our values. Our college vision reads as follows, to be the leading honorary dental organization serving others worldwide. Our USA section motto, serving others, is the tagline we proudly use to reflect and promote this vision. Our goal is that the International College of Dentists will be the organization people think of first and foremost when they talk about improving oral health throughout the world. As your president, I charge each of you as fellows elect to become involved in our continued effort to make this vision a reality. I know I speak for every fellow of the USA section when I once again extend our congratulations for the honor you will soon receive. It is my sincere wish that you will remember this experience as a highlight of your professional life. Now it is my privilege to introduce Dr. Risa Martin, your president-elect, to outline the three core values that are the pillars of our college. Dr. Martin also chairs the USA Section Strategic Planning Committee, and in that capacity, she will also be sharing how our applied strategic plan guides our college. I'm proud to introduce to you Dr. Risa Martin. Greetings. It is my privilege to welcome each of you new fellows, as well as your families and friends who are joining you to celebrate this honor being bestowed upon you today. Congratulations on your selection as a fellow in the International College of Dentists. The USA section has three core values, integrity, leadership, and service. Each of you has been invited into fellowship because your colleagues recognize that you have demonstrated a strong personal alignment with these values. The ICD commends your integrity and is proud of your leadership and service in your communities and your profession. The honor of fellowship is the culmination of years of diligence. However, it is also a new beginning. At our convocation ceremony, you will become a fellow of the most prestigious worldwide honorary dental society. I urge each of you to see this as an opportunity to continue to exemplify our core values with renewed energy and dedication on behalf of the college. The USA section of the ICD has an applied strategic plan that guides our mission. That plan has five main goals, and I urge you to understand and support these objectives. These goals are designed to facilitate our three core values of integrity, leadership, and service. Goal one, we value our fellows as our most important resource to achieve our mission. And through our membership, we are as diverse as our profession. This goal speaks to the college's dedication to its fellows and its inclusivity of all dental professionals who exemplify the ICD's high standards. Goal two, we cultivate and support leadership development activities. This goal speaks to our core value of leadership. Goal three, we are the model of domestic and international dental service and collaboration with the goal of improving oral health globally. This goal speaks to the core value of service. 
The USA section is so dedicated to this goal that our section motto, which you will hear repeated often today, is serving others. Goal four, we develop state-of-the-art internal and external communications to support our projects and activities. As part of achieving this goal, we have recently developed some new social media programs, one of which is Live 45, which features interviews with leaders in dentistry speaking about a wide variety of topics. And finally, goal five, we maintain a secure and sustainable financial position, which allows us to reach our strategic objectives. Today, these goals should become your goals. Today, you become a member of an exclusive group within our profession, representing less than 3% of the practicing dentists in the United States. Today, you become part of much more than just an honorary dental society. I'm sure each of you have heard the expression, to those whom much is given, much is expected. Today, the honor that will be bestowed on you also comes with expectations. Please join me as we watch a short video that will give you more insight into our prestigious worldwide honorary dental society. Integrity. Leadership. Service. These are the core values of the International College of Dentists. The International College of Dentists is the preeminent honorary dental society the only one of its kind. The idea of an international dental organization was conceived in 1920 in Tokyo by Dr. Louis Odafi, an American, and Dr. Surikichi Akamura of Japan. The plans were refined and disclosed in 1926 at the seventh annual Dental Congress in Philadelphia. And on New Year's Eve 1927, the ICD was born. The ICD now has more than 10,000 members worldwide from 122 countries. The USA section is the largest, with more than 6,300 members. The organization recognizes and promotes leadership and service worldwide. And the process of becoming a fellow is very selective. What we expect from that individual that's being nominated is to share our core values. Each district will nominate distinguished individuals who have demonstrated professionalism and leadership and also participated in humanitarian activities throughout their career. The ICD searches out those that fit the mold, those that have given service, those that it's, are known to have the integrity. Each year, the International College of Dentists welcomes new fellows into the organization in a special convocation ceremony. My local component president nominated me. I think once you're nominated, the application process is really guided by the members who are already involved. And they really encourage you just to help get you through that process. When I became a fellow, uh, I can remember all the flags of the countries that are participating in the International College of Dentists in this worldwide organization. When you stand there and you see everybody in their robes and their gowns and, and family members on the sides, and it is, it's, it's a sight to behold. That's a memorable experience for people, and um, it was exciting, and it made you feel a very strong part of this organization, that you were now a part of these special people. The ICD is involved in many programs that allow members to showcase their commitment to service, such as the International Collaborative Initiative, 
which includes the popular student exchange program that shares knowledge and experiences among dental students of the global community. Volunteering overseas. Programs that provide dental humanitarian support on a global basis. The Fisher House Project. Providing emergency palliative care to military families housed at a Fisher House while their wounded loved ones receive treatment at a medical facility nearby. Peace Corps exams, where ICD fellows provide exams for Peace Corps volunteers free of charge in appreciation for their commitment to global service. Missions of Mercy, portable clinics in cities across the country at which volunteers provide free dental care for underserved people. Student awards are given for leadership to a graduating student from every U.S. dental school. And white coat ceremonies, a symbolic event that recognizes the dental student's transition into patient care. Many ICD districts sponsor a white coat ceremony at their respective dental schools. The USA section established a foundation which would be independent from the section, but basically would would assist the section with their projects and also be able to contribute to some of the broader projects from time to time. The section itself contributes significantly to the foundation. It also receives gifts and bequests and things like that are, that are obviously tax deductible. The International College of Dentists welcomes the leaders of tomorrow, those who show a career-long commitment to service, humanitarianism, and education. I think the most special thing about the ICD is the members themselves. They are truly a great group of people who are dedicated in their leadership abilities and their service to others. What they have done for dentistry and humanity is significant. There are many people in this organization who continue to give up their time, expend their energy, and utilize the leadership skills they've developed elsewhere to serve others through their involvement in the college both internationally as well as in the United States. One of the things that has frustrated me in uh, dentistry over the last couple of decades has been an orientation toward money. Uh, the ICD typifies the antithesis of that, in which uh, the organization is oriented toward the altruistic things and the service orientation. So many of us get caught up in trying to build our practice, get the greatest and latest things in our office, and we kind of forget what we really got into dentistry for. And I think at this stage of my life, I don't want to wait till I retire to give back. I want to do it now while my skills are at their highest. This again is not the end of your career. We want you to continue to provide service and leadership and to mentor, and that's what we're all about. We're very energized, we're very motivated, and I see great things in our future. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud to be a fellow in the International College of Death. Now, I would like to turn this program back over to Dr. Badalik, who will speak to you about the expectations that come with the honor of being an ICD fellow. The USA section of the ICD has five key expectations or objectives for each of its fellows, which complement the five goals of our ICD mission, which Dr. Martin just explained. Let's talk through these important concepts using colored keys as a visual tool to help you remember the following five objectives. Number one, the blue key, leadership. I charge you to continue your commitment to leadership and to uphold the highest standards of professional competence and personal ethics. Number two, the gold key, share the honor. I charge you to recognize other distinguished members of our profession by inviting them into fellowship. Please don't forget that an ICD fellow recognized your achievement and took the effort to sponsor you for fellowship. After your induction, you will have the same privilege. Your position as a fellow in the ICD endows you with the privilege of sponsoring colleagues who exemplify the high standards that are required for fellowship. I urge you to take the opportunity 
to share the honor. Number three, silver key, humanitarianism. One of the reasons you have been chosen for this honor is that through your professional history, you have already demonstrated our USA section motto, serving others. I charge you with continuing to serve others as a fellow in the ICD. We hope that you will be passionate in your support of the ICD Foundation as it funds humanitarian projects both in the USA and around the world. As part of this charge, I also encourage you to participate in many of the short and long-term projects the ICD sponsors. Number four, the green key, education. I charge you to contribute to the advancement of the dental profession by promoting and fostering the growth of dental knowledge worldwide. And finally, number five, the red key, professional conduct. I charge you with advancing the best and highest standards of our profession, both morally and ethically, and setting an example of these standards in your own communities. By continuing to demonstrate these qualities in your daily lives, you will join us in fellowship by upholding our core values of integrity, leadership, and service. Again, congratulations on achieving this remarkable milestone in your profession. Not only is this a recognition of past achievements, but it is also the beginning of an opportunity for each of you to shine even brighter as you exemplify all that the ICD stands for. So let's remember the five key expectations. Number one, leadership. Number two, share the honor. Number three, humanitarianism. Number four, education. And five, professional conduct. Now let's hear from the president of the USA Section Foundation, Dr. Ed Morris. He's from Kingston, Maryland. He's gonna tell you a little bit more about how the ICD Foundation supports all that we stand for and hope to accomplish. Hello, everyone. I would also like to congratulate you on your acceptance into the International College of Dentists. You are now a part of the 3% of dentists in this country who have been invited to join our ranks. After serving as the 4th District Regent, I'm now privileged to serve as the USA Section Foundation President. When you hear our motto, serving others, please understand that it's the foundation that provides the resources that along with your dedication and leadership turns good intentions into reality. We can't do it without you. The foundation was established in 1986 as a 501c3 nonprofit entity. Its purpose is to provide financial support to worthy individual entities, corporations, trusts, funds, and foundations that reflect the ICD's mission and vision. Additionally, the foundation supports many of the educational, literary, scientific, and charitable activities of the section. In keeping with the ICD motto, serving others, the foundation provides humanitarian assistance throughout the USA and the world through its general grant program. As you saw and heard in the I'm Proud video, it has awarded financial assistance to missions of Mercy, Kikoya, and Chigoria Hospital Dental Clinics in Africa, Smiles on Wings, Dental Lifeline, the Open Wide Foundation, Mending Faces, Everyone for Veterans, Haitian Health Foundation, and many, many more. In addition to our general grant program, three years ago, we started a new grant program in conjunction with Henry Schein Cares. This program is just for USA ICD fellows. These grants provide seed money for local or state humanitarian projects. I hope many of you will consider applying for one of these grants for your local project. The foundation is dedicated to improving oral health and the dental profession throughout the USA and the world. For several years, it has been promoting volunteerism by presenting ICD volunteer symposia around the country to educate the dental community on the how and why of volunteering to serve those who are in greatest need of dental care. Student support is another area of focus for the foundation. One of our most successful programs is our Betty R. McCaig International Student Experience Program. It provides third and fourth year dental students with funds to assist their humanitarian mission trips and exchange programs abroad. These trips heighten the students' knowledge and awareness of dentistry in other schools and nations throughout the world. For the past three years, the foundation has awarded $2,500 scholarships to qualified students 
who apply through the Worldwide College website. And we also sponsor awards that recognize outstanding leadership and humanitarianism in students in every dental school in the country. In addition to recognizing the accomplishments of students, the foundation recognizes one outstanding dental leader and one distinguished humanitarian dentist annually at the convocation dinner celebration. In total, the USA Section Foundation awards between $130,000 and $150,000 worth of grants each year. We are able to provide this financial support because of the generosity of our USA Section Fellows and our corporate partners. We encourage our fellows to contribute to the foundation when submitting their annual dues, but there are also a number of other ways to provide support. For example, our Century Club. Fellows donate $100 per month for five years. We also have a legacy society where you can make a gift to the foundation through your estate. Additionally, I encourage you to take a look at our key room where we have a wide variety of ICD merchandise available for sale. 30% of the purchase price of these items is a tax-deductible donation to the Foundation. You can find out more about the programs that we fund, as well as learn about other ways to support the Foundation on our website. Just go to usa-icd.org and click on the Foundation tab. I appreciate the opportunity to tell you about the USA Section Foundation, and again, congratulations on your impending induction. And now it's my privilege to introduce Dr. Richard Smith. Dr. Smith is president of the Worldwide College. Dick will give you a brief overview of our parent organization, who they are, what they do, and perhaps give you a glimpse of what their future might hold. Dr. Smith. Hello, and welcome to the ICD. The Worldwide ICD is divided into 15 sections spread across the globe. Section one, USA, is the largest with approximately half of the college membership. Other sections are Canada, Mexico, South America, Europe, India, Japan, Australasia, the Philippines, the Middle East, Korea, Taiwan, China, Myanmar, and Southeast Asia. There is also a 16th section, Section 20, which is composed of a number of regions that are too small and geographically separated to qualify as a section. The ICD has over 12,000 fellows in 122 countries. It supports and sponsors hundreds of dental humanitarian service projects worldwide. These projects can be located on the worldwide website, www.icd.org, under the tab, Projects Map and Directory. The universal motto of ICD Worldwide is, recognizing service and the opportunity to serve. To this end, the global ICD has a foundation, the Global Visionary Fund, or GVF. The mission statement of the GVF is, the International College of Dentists Global Visionary Fund supports and funds humanitarian and educational oral health care programs and initiatives around the world especially in developing communities where the needs are greatest. Through its partnership with Henry Schein Cares, the GVF is able to offer grants of dental supplies to charitable missions in needy areas. The GVF also received a grant of over $3 million worth of personal protective equipment and supplies from Henry Schein Cares that has been distributed around the world. The GVF offers annual scholarships to dental students across the U.S. through an affiliation with the Washington University Dental Alumni Association Scholarship Program. The original concept of the ICD's founders was to create an organization to disseminate dental information among the dentists of the world, and it did that for a long time. As communication improved worldwide, the college morphed into an organization that recognized dentists for outstanding service in leadership, community and humanitarian service, dental education and research, and began emphasizing its own humanitarian service projects. Now with the world affected by the pandemic, the college has a new initiative, ICD Online. ICD Online produces free webinars with ICD fellow experts presenting on a variety of subjects of current interest such as dental responses to COVID-19, 
and the looming threat of antimicrobial resistance. This last year was a transitional year for the college. A new secretary general was selected, Dr. Joseph Keneally, who in his first year also dealt with shifting the college from a brick and mortar building to a completely virtual office with a staff located across the US. Dr. Keneally resides in Maine and Florida, while the director of operations, Chelsea Segrin, is located in Flint, Michigan. Other staff are located as far away as Tel Aviv, Israel. One of the advantages of a virtual office is the ability to have people with special skills around the world on staff. Our staff is currently developing a new virtual office platform that will replace our website while still serving as our online presence. This platform will allow interactivity with the staff while looking and sometimes functioning like an actual physical office. This is state-of-the-art technology that will improve the college's ability to engage and serve our fellows and our collaborators from outside the ICD. The college has several methods of communication with fellows. The Globe is the annual journal of the ICD and is published digitally in two volumes and is available in print form. The college also has multiple email communications to stay in touch with fellows, one of which is the College Today, which has multiple articles about what is happening worldwide with the college. The college has a media partner, Dental Tribune International, who also help inform the fellows. I am pleased to welcome you to the International College of Dentists in this virtual way as we begin the second hundred years of our existence and I hope to meet you in person at some time in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Smith, for those inspiring words and for agreeing to speak at the USA Section's Virtual Fellowship Orientation Program. We are grateful for all that our parent organization, they being the Worldwide ICD, does for our section and for the art and science of dentistry around the world. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the USA Section's Vice President, Dr. Daniel Freed. Daniel hails from the Hoosier State of Indiana, and he's going to talk about a few of the USA Section's activities that support our motto, serving others, and a little bit about how to nominate a friend or a colleague for the honor of fellowship. And he will also give you some options about how to get involved in the organization right away. Our motto, serving others, distills who we are in two simple words. Volunteerism is that aspect of our organization where we serve the oral health needs of the world. ICD does this through direct action of our fellows, and we want you to see the value of your membership in ICD. Last year, with the absence of person-to-person -person meetings due to the COVID virus, we wanted to connect with our members. So the ICD social media team, led by our fellow ambassador of social media, Dr. Amrita Patel created the Take 10 and Take 20 series to begin checking in with our fellows to find out how the dental industry was being affected by the pandemic. The recordings of these videos are saved on our ICD USA section Facebook page and website under the publications tab. They also started the Live 45 interview series, which is held on the first Wednesday of most months through our Facebook page at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. These interviews are also hosted by Dr. Patel, along with one of our leaders as co-host, and each episode highlights a fellow who is well known for his or her leadership and the humanitarian efforts. Our volunteer seminar series helps you prepare for dental mission trips. These have been offered at state dental meetings, but will also be online soon. Leaders in Dentistry video series from 1984 to 2006, the college recorded this unique series of 67 interviews with outstanding dental leaders highlighting their accomplishments and their views on the dental profession. This is a museum, YouTube collection, and a must see. As a fellow of ICD, you are recognized by your peers as a leader in your profession, but improvement of skills is a never ending process. The Leadership Bibliography is a quality list of exceptional leadership books for anyone seeking to improve, and it's available on our website. Beginning in late 2021, our editor will create an online newsletter highlighting our members. So maybe you have a story to share. Did you climb Mount Everest, fight a bear, 
or something not quite so risky, but still important, like cycling across the US or trying out for the Olympics. We want to hear from you. So by now you're saying, wow, how can I get involved? Start by nominating a deserving quality colleague to fellowship. We call this share the honor. Your sponsor took the time and effort for your benefit, so it's time to pay it forward. Provide free dental exams in your dental office for our Peace Corps volunteers. The paper paperwork is minimal, but the rewards are plentiful. Mentor a dental student who received an ICD leadership or humanitarian award. They are our future. Volunteer to participate in a mission of mercy in your state or region. Many of our ICD fellows are involved in leading those efforts. Make a difference in the life of a veteran by participating in Operation Stand Down or Everyone for Veterans. You can provide a tremendous impact on the lives of low income veterans as most veterans are not able eligible to receive dental care from the VA. More information about both of these programs is on our website. Participate in the Special Olympics programs in your area. With the pandemic, all athletic events have been put on hold. In spite of that, some of our ICD fellows, many of them general dentists, have volunteered to provide Special Olympic athletes with a dental home. It's amazing what a big difference you can make in someone's life by doing small acts of kindness. You might want to get involved in the inner workings of this ICD by serving on a committee or strategic planning goal team or strut your stuff by volunteering to be interviewed for a Take 10 or a Live 45 session or key mail article. I hope you are beginning to understand that the International College of Dentists is much more than just another honorary dental society. We have a lofty vision of how we can improve oral health here at home and around the world. And with your help, we will do just that. Again, congratulations on your nomination and admittance into our wonderful organization. We look forward to getting to know you. Today is a very, very special day. Our ICD convocation is ceremony is designed to be an impressive and memorable event. And it's a way for us to show how much we appreciate each one of you for what you have already done and for what you will do in the future. As you look back on this day, the honor of being inducted as a fellow in the International College of Dentists will hopefully be an experience that will always make you feel both proud and humble. Now it's my turn to introduce Dr. Bidelic to close the program. Well, 2021 ICD inductees, that's a wrap for our 2021 virtual fellowship orientation program. As a reminder, most, if not all, the information from today's program can be found on our website. So if you need to refresh, please log on. Now, normally during the physical meeting FOP, we would now move to a wine and cheese reception where we all could mingle and make the memories of what is to come. But we're not today. So in lieu of that, in lieu of us not being together, on behalf of the entire FOP program speakers, the wonderful USA section staff, and my committee, I raise my wine glass as a toast and welcome you into the honorable ICD family. Stay well, stay focused, and share the honor. As president of the USA section, it is now my distinct privilege to call to order the 87th annual convocation of the USA section of the International College of Dentists. Please rise and join in singing the first stanza of our national anthem. Then please remain standing for the invocation, which will be given by our president-elect, Dr. Risa Martin. so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red Bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our.
flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you on this special occasion with humility and with gratitude for the many blessings that you have so graciously bestowed upon us. We thank you for the privilege of serving others through our profession and for the ability to carry out that service with excellence knowing that in all we do, we do it as unto you. We humbly plead to you to intervene in the devastation due to the COVID virus, which is causing so much suffering and separation throughout the world. May each of us continue to do our part to protect one another. We pray for all your children throughout the world who are suffering not only from the pandemic, but from hunger and disease. And we ask that you will use our college to be an effective instrument of good as we reach out to those less fortunate than ourselves. In this time of division and uncertainty, we reach out to you for healing and unity for our country and for the fellows of the ICD. We ask for wisdom to know how we can be instrumental in that healing. Lord, we especially ask your blessings on this convocation and on these ICD inductees who will receive the honor of fellowship today. It is our prayer that the commitment they have shown to excellence through serving their profession, their communities, their families, and others in need will only increase as they become a part of our fellowship. Now in all we do, we give you the honor and the glory. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Martin. Fellows, Fellows elect, family members, friends, and honored guests, it is my privilege and honor to introduce our keynote speaker, Dr. Joe Keneally, Secretary General of the Worldwide International College of Dentists. In his position as Secretary General, Dr. Keneally oversees the operation and management of the ICD's world headquarters. As you can imagine, this is no small task. However, Joe is immensely qualified for this challenge. Those of us who know Dr. Keneally well are constantly aware of the talent and leadership he brings to the college. In his modesty, Dr. Keneally asks that I keep his introduction brief. However, I'm compelled to give you some highlights of his career, which has contributed so much to our profession and to the International College. Joe and his wife, Lisa, who is also an ICD fellow, make their homes in Kennebuck, Maine and Fort Myers, Florida. Dr. Keneally graduated from Tufts University School of Dental Medicine and practiced in Bedford, Maine from 1983 to 2019. He's held virtually every office in the Maine Dental Association and has served the ADA in many important leadership roles. In 1997, he was honored by being elected Vice President of the American Dental Association. For his exemplary leadership and service, Joe has been the recipient of numerous prestigious awards. These include the James W. Etherington Award from the Yankee Dental Congress, the Alumni Achievement Award from the University of New England, and the Distinguished Service Award from the First District of the USA Section of the International College. Dr. Keneally's service to the ICD has been stellar. He rose through the offices of District 1, serving as Deputy Regent, 
vice regent and regent. He also served as an international counselor for the Worldwide College before being elected president of the Worldwide ICD. Dr. Keneally holds the distinction of being the only ICD fellow to have held the three highest offices in the ICD. ICD USA section president, worldwide ICD president, and secretary general of the worldwide ICD. Joe and his wife, Lisa, have traveled the world representing the college. I can think of no one more fitting to address you as new fellows on this special occasion. I believe you'll find his comments informative, inspiring. I present to you, Dr. Joe Keneally. Good afternoon. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome the new fellows of section one, the United States of America to the International College of Dentists. Your activities in leadership, education, research, and dental humanitarian and community service have been noticed by your peers. And today you will receive the great and singular honor of ICD fellowship. It wasn't long ago that I was one of the ICD USA section regents in charge of the identification of deserving fellows such as you. Occasionally during the new fellow process, a promising candidate would ask me, what do I get for the induction fee that you're asking me to pay to be honored? Why do I have to pay to be honored? It's a fair question and not an easy one to answer. The truth is that the induction fee almost covers the cost of the keys and plaques, the convocation and all the events surrounding it, but not quite. For a while I answered, over 12,000 other dentists like you around the world found it to be worthwhile. For others, I said that you get a very nice plaque, a gold pin and a gold key, a very high-end ceremony, and some wonderful events celebrating you as one of the world's top 1% of dentists in terms of leadership, humanitarian service, research, or dental education. But aside from that, fellowship in the ICD is not about what you get, it's about what you give. It's also about what you can become. The Greek philosopher Aristotle said that well begun is half done. This virtual convocation is a great start to something larger and more profound, but it's only half done if you don't embrace what really makes it significant. Today, I invite you to become an international person. Be aware of and understand the existence of the many cultures around the globe, the great and sometimes ancient civilizations and religions, the incredibly diverse array of traditions. By all means, have pride in your own cultural heritage, but respect the background of others. Understand that everything that we do has an effect upon everything else. Global citizenship is the idea that your identity transcends geography or political borders, and that your responsibilities or rights are derived from membership in a broader class, humanity. This does not mean that you must denounce or waive your own nationality or your regional identities, but that those identities are secondary to your place in the global community. Extended, the idea leads to questions about the state of global society in the age of globalization. Now you can be a Tar Heel or a Texan or a Yankee or a Midwesterner or a Californian, but keep that identity as a citizen of the greater world. Each one of us has the capacity to become a global citizen. If you volunteer at the dental free clinic in your community, you're a global citizen. If you complete a 10 minute beach cleanup, you're a global citizen. If you can walk or ride a bike sometimes instead of driving an automobile, you're a global citizen. If you volunteer at your county vaccination site, you're a global citizen. Remember, it's about acting locally while thinking globally. Being a global citizen does not mean abandoning a national identity. Rather, it's enriching it with the joys and responsibilities of being part of a globalized world. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the ICD was forced to find other ways to fulfill its motto of recognizing service and the opportunity to serve. Like many organizations, we held virtual meetings of our governing body, the International Council, but not many organizations were able to do what the ICD did twice, conduct real-time meetings whose participants spanned 19 different time zones. During the pandemic, we saw fellows in Mexico and Guatemala conducting humanitarian missions locally while thinking globally. We saw a group of USA section fellow dentists traveling to the Philippines to serve those with little access to dental care. We saw the first ever sisterhood agreement for cooperative efforts between ICD sections, which involves the cooperation of our fellows in Japan, Korea, and Taiwan. We watched the incredibly cooperative unity of our own section 15, 
which includes 12 different countries and municipalities from Pakistan to Indonesia. We marvel at the long-term success of our European section with 32 countries and nearly that many spoken languages. Too often we focus on what divides us rather than what unites us. But now more than ever, we need to work together and stand up for what we believe in. We must critically reflect on our unequal world to find ways to take responsible action. The International College of Dentists is singularly positioned to help take those much needed actions and raise the standards of dental health and dental care in places that need its assistance. But for this to work, it needs the help of its fellows. The ICD provides, supports, creates, and promotes hundreds of educational and humanitarian service projects around the world, and it does it on a budget that's perhaps one-third to one-fourth the budget of the dental practices of many of its fellows. That's because although it's not rich in the financial sense, it has a worldwide wealth of talent, intellect, and dedication that few other dental organizations can claim. As past president Akira Senda of Nagoya, Japan frequently said, we are one team. That vision encompasses all the sections of the ICD and all of its fellows worldwide. For the last century, the ICD has been honoring the world's leading dentists, recognizing the outstanding professionals in dentistry that have passed a rigorous peer review process that is necessary for each fellow to receive this honor. Each of you entering this USA section class of 2021 has had his or her candidate information form reviewed and voted upon by every officer and regent of the section. Fewer than 1% of the world's dentists have earned the title of fellow of the International College of Dentists, but those who made it include some of the greatest of all time. L.D. Pankey, Peter Dawson, Clifford Sturdivant, Harold Liu, Perrin Gavar Branamark, Jean Sinkford, Arthur Degoni, Esther Wilkins, Harold Hillenbrand, Herbert Yee, Michael Buonacore, Gordon Christensen, and many more were all fellows of the ICD. But that was the past, and now the future of the college is going to be passed into your hands. What will you choose to do moving forward from this landmark point in your dental career? How will you choose to make an impact on your community, and more importantly, the world? Are you willing to look around your communities to find other deserving dentists to join the ICD as global citizens in service to the greater good? In many ways, fellowship is what you make of it. The ICD is not gonna to come to you and steer you to new places and projects and give meaning to your life. You need to do that for yourself. But the International College of Dentists is a wonderful place to find those things. I know that all of you are just beginning to realize what it is that you've been chosen to join. I will not go into my best John F. Kennedy impression, ask not what the ICD can do for you, ask what you can do for the ICD, although I was tempted. I will say that after spending nearly 40 years in my practice working to improve the health of each individual sitting in my dental chair, as rewarding as that was, the chance to spend the twilight of that dental career improving the health of the world is extremely compelling. Author and motivational speaker Brian Tracy wrote that successful people are always looking for opportunities to help others. Unsuccessful people are always asking, what's in it for me? Enjoy today's celebration of all of you and your achievements. You're a very special group of dentists and you should be justly proud. But next week, next month, next year, I ask you to think about all of this and your place in it. Ask not what the ICD can do for you. Ask what you can do for the world. It's highly possible that the ICD can help you with that. Joe, I'm sure I speak for all of us when I thank you for your inspiring and challenging address. We also wish to thank you for your continued service to the International College of Dentists. It is now my pleasure to introduce the longstanding chair of the USA Section Awards Committee, Master Fellow Dr. Leighton Weir, to present some very special awards. Dr. Weir. Mr. President, I'm honored to present to you three fellows to receive Master Fellowship. Master Fellowship is conferred on a fellow who has rendered extraordinarily conspicuous and outstanding service to the college. The awarding of Master Fellowship is a rare distinction, which is only awarded to active or life fellows with the approval of the Worldwide College's International Council. At the present time, there are only 15 living Master Fellows in the USA section. Our first Master Fellowship is being awarded posthumously to Betty R. McKaig. 
Dr. McKay received her DDS and an MBH from the University of North Carolina. Her career was diverse and replete with leadership roles. She served as president of the North Carolina Dental Society, the North Carolina Board of Dental Examiners, the North Carolina Academy of General Dentistry, and was elected first vice president of the ADA. Dr. McKay served the USA section as deputy regent, vice regent, and regent, and was instrumental in creating and expanding the Betty R. McKay International Student Dental Experience Program. During her tenure as regent, Betty also served as an international counselor for the worldwide ICD. Her dedication and leadership skills were recognized at that level as well. Betty served as the first female president of the Worldwide College from 2019 to 2020. This sweet Southern belle was a force to be reckoned with. Her premature death left a huge void in our organization, and we all continue to miss her to this day. I want to thank her husband, Dr. Ross Vaughn, for sharing her with us. Our next master fellow is Dr. Christine Benoit. Christine received her DMD from Tufts University School of Dental Medicine, where she has been named alumnus of the year. Christine has been a tireless worker in her 25 years of cumulative service to the ICD section, foundation, and worldwide college. She has served the USA section as a deputy regent, vice regent, and regent, receiving several honors and awards from the ICD during her tenure including the first ICD Distinguished Deputy Regent Award in 1999. She has served the Worldwide College as an international counselor for over nine years. Christine is the college's antibiotic awareness program coordinator and liaison. She has given many presentations on this important topic. She was given a meritorious service award by the ICD College for her dedicated devotion to this project. She is also a trustee of the USA Section Foundation. Dr. Minois is a past president of the Rhode Island Dental Association and has also served on the Rhode Island Board of Dental Examiners. She has received the James Kershaw Award from the Rhode Island Dental Association and was named Woman of the Year Award by the Rhode Island Commission on Women. Christine and her husband, Bruce, also an ICD fellow, enjoy the outdoors and have a hobby of climbing the highest mountain in each state they visit. No obstacle is too high for this talented lady. Congratulations, Dr. Benoit. Dr. Richard Smith is our last master fellow awardee. Dick graduated from the University of Texas Dental Branch at Houston and has been a leader in organized dentistry for many years. He served as president of the Panhandle District Dental Society, the Texas Dental Association, and the ICD's Texas Section. He was named Texas Dentist of the Year and received the TDA's Gold Medal for Distinguished Service. Dick has been the delegate to the ADA and has chaired the ADA Council on Insurance. He has been the chairman of both the Texas Dental Association Smiles Foundation and the Texas Mission of Mercy. He has served as an ICD regent for District 15 and as USA Section Treasurer for 12 years. Additionally, he distinguished himself as treasurer of the worldwide ICD and is currently serving as its president. He is an accomplished pilot and built his own airplane. I remember twisting Dick's arm to get him involved in the ICD, and I count his service as possibly my most important contribution to our group. His service has exceeded my expectations. Congratulations, Dr. Smith. The section is presenting two emeritus awards today. Emeritus awards are conferred upon individuals who during their tenure contributed to the progress and achievement of the USA section in a special way. The emeritus designation is awarded to recognize performance and contribution above normal expectations and is restricted 
to individuals who have retired from their position with ICD. Dr. Carol Turner, after returning from the U.S. Navy, where she served as Rear Admiral and was the first female chief of the Navy Dental Corps, served as the USA Section's Registrar from 2009 to 2017. Her hobby is restoring old furniture, and she treated our section like an old chair, making it better than ever with her skills in strategic and financial planning. For her eight years of outstanding service to the section, the Board of Regents voted to confer upon her the title Registrar Emeritus. Congratulations, Dr. Turner. Dr. Richard Smith was the USA Section Treasurer from January 2008 through December 2019. Although not an admiral, he ran a tight fiscal ship, keeping the section in calm financial waters. He built up our reserves and guided the section in the purchase of our new central office. For his 12 years of outstanding service to the section, the Board of Regents has voted to confer upon him the title Treasurer Emeritus. Congratulations again, Dr. Smith. I will now turn the program back over to President Carr. On behalf of the officers and regents of the USA section of the International College of Dentists, I want to extend my personal congratulations to those who are being inducted in today's ceremony. I also want to thank those family members, friends, and guests who have joined us to pay honor to our new fellows. It was our sincere wish that we would be meeting in person for this special occasion. However, we hope that this virtual experience will still convey the pride we take in this opportunity to recognize your accomplishments as fellows elect in the ICD. At this time, I will ask President elect Dr. Risa Martin to introduce the honorary fellows who will be inducted this year. Our convocation ceremony is also a time when the USA section inducts its honorary fellows. And this afternoon, I have the privilege of recognizing six candidates for honorary fellowship. Three were selected in 2020 and three in 2021. These non-dentists have been selected by the Board of Regents for this special honor based on outstanding achievements or contributions toward the promotion of dentistry. The convocation program that you received contains more details about the contributions these men and women have made to our profession. And we are delighted to include them in our fellowship induction ceremony today. Honorary fellows are Leanne Bartlett, Director of Social Services, Department of Public Health, Texas A&M College of Dentistry. Mrs. Bartlett has a long history of serving the dental needs of the HIV positive population in the Dallas area through the active pursuit of grant funding and extensive collaboration with other agencies and organizations. Her office also arranges the dental college's participation in over 400 community service events each year and oversees the dental treatment of all patients referred by other agencies and organizations. Congratulations, Mrs. Bartlett. Dr. Stephen Bain, Professor Emeritus University of Michigan College of Dentistry. Dr. Bain's passion has always been making dental materials science interesting, relevant, and fun. He has taught and conducted research in this area for more than 40 years. During that time, he received more than 20 Teaching Excellence Awards, served in many major elected leadership positions in a variety of organizations and associations, and has been honored with numerous special distinctions. Congratulations, Dr. Bain. Ms. Carol J. Dingleday, the Executive Director of the Connecticut State Dental Association. In her role with CSDA, 
Ms. Dingleday oversees all aspects of the association, provides leadership and vision to the Board of Governors, and executes a variety of programs and services that have led to the organization's success. Until 2018, Ms. Dingleday also served as the Executive Director for the CSDA's charitable arm, the Connecticut Foundation for Dental Outreach, where she advocated to improve the oral health of the underserved and working poor in the state of Connecticut. Congratulations, Ms. Dingleday. Ms. Kylie Evans, ICD USA Section and Foundation staff member. Since she joined the staff in 2015, Ms. Evans has proven to be absolutely indispensable to the smooth running of the office. With a degree in digital media and web technology from the University of Maryland, she has overseen all graphic design projects and website development, including playing a major role in implementing our new combined section and foundation website in 2019 and 2020. She is passionate and committed to her work, always going above and beyond to ensure everything is done according to the ICD's high standard. In her spare time, Ms. Evans enjoys supporting other nonprofits by volunteering her time and skills. Congratulations, Ms. Evans. Chris Klemeko, Executive Director of the Rhode Island Dental Association. Mr. Klemeko is also the editor of the Rhode Island Dental Association Journal, a well-respected quarterly publication. He established high quality continuing education meetings with SERP approval, saving the association tens of thousands of dollars annually. Additionally, he revitalized the Rhode Island Political Action Committee. Congratulations, Mr. Klemeko. Dr. Michael Osterholm, Director of the Center for Infectious Disease Research and Policy University of Minnesota. Dr. Osterholm is an epidemiologist who has produced more than 25 educational webinars on the COVID-19 pandemic. He serves national and worldwide health organizations in many capacities, and he is currently the science envoy of the United States Department of State. The World Health Organization has made him its current principal investigator and task force chair for Zika, influenza, Ebola, Lassa fever, and the NIPAH. Congratulations, Dr. Osterholm. And congratulations to all of our honorary fellows. Fellows elect and honorary fellows elect, each of you have distinguished yourselves in our profession and you have been carefully selected by our members, deputy regents, vice regents, and officers to receive this distinct honor. ICD Fellowship recognizes each of you as an example of excellence in your profession. Through your devoted service and high ethical standards, you have brought honor to the profession, and in return, you are now being honored by that profession. After being formed in 1920, the International College of Dentists was incorporated in 1928. The organization was created for these purposes. One, to foster cordial relations among dentists in all parts of the world. Two, to support cooperation among dentists in the interest of progress in the science and art of dentistry. And three, to aid in educating all peoples concerning the importance of dentistry as a health measure. Then as now, those individuals chosen to be ICD fellows were dentists who exemplified the highest ethical standards, facilitated and promoted the progress of dentistry, and served others with their skills and resources. In order that you may have a deeper appreciation of the honor now being conferred on you, and in order that we may all grasp more fully the aims, objectives, and purpose of the International College of Dentists, I direct your attention to Article 3 of its Constitution, 
which states the specific purpose of our college. That purpose is the recognition of outstanding professional achievement, meritorious service, and contribution to the continued progress of dentistry for the benefit of all mankind. Now to the moment of privilege I have been looking forward to. Fellows elect, your qualifications have been examined by the Credentials Committee, the officers, the Board of Regents, and Deputy Regents. You have met or exceeded all the requirements for fellowship. Now by the authority of the Board of Regents and the power invested in me as president of the USA section of the International College, it gives me great pleasure and distinct honor to confer upon you fellowship in the college. The college has sent each of you three distinct items which are symbols of your acceptance into our esteemed organization. The first is the college key on a lanyard of green and gold, the ICD colors. Your key is engraved with your initials and symbolizes access to your privileges as an ICD fellow. The second item is your fellowship plaque, which I would have normally presented to you in person with the right hand of fellowship, which is an ancient and honorable sign of friendship. You may display this plaque as a sign to others that you exemplify the three pillars of our college, integrity, leadership, and service. Third, you will receive a lapel pin which we encourage you to wear as a proud symbol of your fellowship in the most prestigious worldwide dental honor society. As we proceed with the induction, I wish to express my deepest appreciation to each regent, vice regent, deputy regent, and sponsor. These men and women have diligently sought out each of you as deserving of the honor you are receiving today. In short, they are sharing the honor that they too received in the past. Today, that responsibility and privilege will also pass to you as well. I encourage each of you to recognize excellence in your colleagues and share this honor with those dentists who you know to be deserving of fellowship under the high and lofty standards of the International College. We hope you will remember today as a time when you were challenged to even greater achievements. As Dr. Jonas Salk said, the reward for work well done is the opportunity to do more. We encourage you as new fellows to do even more as you participate in the ICD events, activities, and service opportunities. As in any of life's endeavors, you will receive in proportion to what you give. I will now introduce the district regents who will introduce their district leaders and read the names of their fellows elect. The regent from District 6, Dr. Arnold S. Jacobson of Clayton, Missouri. Dr. Jacobson, will you please introduce your vice regent, deputy regents, and then present the fellows elect from your district. I want to thank my vice regent of District 6, Dr. H. Fred Howard, and the deputy regents of District 6, uh, John Rich of Kentucky, Larry Gaston of Missouri, Jay Height of Tennessee, and Vince Veltri of West Virginia. Thank you very much. It is my honor to introduce to you the District 6 Fellows Elect for 2021. Zindel Richardson of Nicholasville, Kentucky, who was sponsored by H. Fred Howard. Dr. Richardson has spent his career in the interest of public health and dental education. Ronald Lee Singer of Lexington, Kentucky was sponsored by H. Fred Howard. Dr. Singer is a pediatric dentist who leads student dentist experiences in rural underserved areas and volunteers at a monthly free care clinic himself. Emily Ann Hahn of St. Louis, Missouri was sponsored by Craig Stephen Hollander. Dr. Hahn is a pediatric dentist who has served on the Committee on Special Health Care Needs of her district, was honored as an ADA 10 under 10, and received the Greater St. Louis Dental Society Award of Merit in 2021. Megan E. Lenahan of St. Louis, Missouri was sponsored by Craig Stephen Hollander. 
Dr. Lenahan is a pediatric dentist who has served in the leadership of her local society and pediatric specialty study groups and academies. Dwight E. McLeod of St. Louis, Missouri, was sponsored by Poonam Jain. Dr. McLeod is Dean of A.T. Still University, Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health, and is the founder and director of the Jamaica Dental Mission. John L. Reagan of Neosho, Missouri, was sponsored by Sarah Lee Mahaffey. Dr. Reagan is a leader in Southwest Missouri's Mission of Mercy events and travels to Belize frequently to provide dental care. Mark A. Scantlin of Sullivan, Missouri, was sponsored by Danielle Marie Reardon. Dr. Scantlin has cared for the underserved in India, Honduras, Guatemala, Kenya, and Senegal. He served as president of the Greater St. Louis Dental Society during the pandemic year 2020. Jonathan W. Silva of Chesterfield, Missouri, was sponsored by Arnold S. Jacobson. Dr. Silva has provided care through Missions of Mercy and Give Kids a Smile and to veterans in the St. Louis area. Jake R. Bateman of Kingsport, Tennessee was sponsored by Richard Eric Bateman. Dr. Bateman has served as scientific chair of the Tennessee Dental Association annual session and as a volunteer in a clinic for dentally indigent patients. Brianna Crumpton of Powell, Tennessee was sponsored by Susan Marie Orwick Barnes. Dr. Crumpton serves as a member of the board of directors of the East Tennessee Academy of Dental Practice Administration and has volunteered over 1,000 hours at pop-up remote area medical clinics in the last several years. John P. Kennard of Murfreesboro, Tennessee was sponsored by John Petty. Dr. Kennard has served on the board of the Tennessee Dental Association as well as serving in all the leadership positions in Tennessee's District 4. Elizabeth H. Lee of Memphis, Tennessee was sponsored by Deputy Regent James Height. Dr. Lee has served as president of the Memphis Dental Society, chaired sterilization at the Mid-South Missions of Mercy, and has made 11 mission trips to Africa. John Atherton Mather of Kingsport, Tennessee was sponsored by Richard Eric Batesman. Dr. Mather has served in all of the leadership positions of his local and district of the Tennessee Academy of Dental Practice Administration and clinicians for and is the dental chair of Friends in Need Dental Clinic. John Allen Smith of Kingsport, Tennessee was sponsored by Richard Eric Batesman. Dr. Smith has served as his district president in the Tennessee Dental Association and on the board of a vitally important community college program for auxiliaries. He is the recipient of the Tennessee Dental Association's Dental Fellowship Award in 2017. Bradley W. White of Knoxville, Tennessee was sponsored by Thomas G. Zarger. Dr. White has served in all of the leadership positions in his Tennessee Dental Association component district and as Secretary of Tennessee's Academy of General Dentistry. He serves as an active board member of Senior Citizens Home Assistance Service. John E. Bogers II of Huntington, West Virginia was sponsored by David Miskell Eller. Dr. Bogers has served as president of the Huntington Dental Society for two terms on the West Virginia Dental Board and is a founder of the Ebenezer Medical Outreach Dental Center for low-income residents of the area. Valerie Nicole Perrine of Morgantown, West Virginia was sponsored by Laura D. Graves. 
Dr. Perrine mentors dental student rotation experiences in rural West Virginia and provides dental care for the needy in her home county and in Guatemala. The region from District 8, Dr. Mary K. Starziak of Chicago, Illinois. Dr. Starziak, will you please introduce your vice regent and deputy regents and then present the fellows select from your district. Thank you, Dr. Carr. Um, I am happy to present our uh, deputy regent is uh, Dr. Susan Bishop and our vice regent is Dr. Spencer Pope. Uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce our fellows from the District 8 State of Illinois. Marsha Babcock of Berwyn, Illinois, sponsored by myself, Mary A. Starshak. Marsha has been a clinical assistant professor at the University of Illinois and the Chicago College of Dentistry and an associate professor at Midwestern University College of Dental Medicine in Downers Grove. I have known Marsha for many years as an examiner for credits and CDCA NERB. Sarah E. Carroll of Aurora, Illinois, sponsored by Susan B. Bishop. Sarah is a diplomat in geriatric dentistry. She volunteers at the Chicago Dental Society Foundation Clinic and participates in donated dental services for Dental Lifeline. Urbad Chat Hurry of Chicago, Illinois, sponsored by Susan B. Bishop. Urbad is a clinical instructor at Midwestern University College of Dental Medicine in Downers Grove and is a fellow of the International College of Oral Implantology. Gaurav Vijay Joshi of Naperville, Illinois, sponsored by myself, Mary A. Starshak. Gavrai works at GC America as the product marketing manager for cements and glass ionomer portfolio. He also assists in product donations for various foundations. Prior to working at GC America, he worked as the senior manager of product evaluation for the American Dental Association. Catherine R. Costin of Edwardsville, Illinois, sponsored by Susan B. Bishop. Katie is an assistant professor and the director of community health department at Southern Illinois University School of Dental Medicine. She chairs the committees for Give Kids a Smile and Veterans Day Care at the dental school. Flavia Lambergani of Chicago, Illinois, sponsored by Mary J. Hayes. Flavia is a diplomat of the American Board of Pediatric Dentistry and she received the 2017 Vision Award from the Chicago Dental Society she helps serve the underserved Medicaid population in Chicago. Marilia Montero Fayed of Chicago, Illinois, sponsored by Mary J. Hayes. Marilia is the North Central Trustee for the American Academy of Pediatric Dentistry and is the Executive Director of the Illinois Society of Pediatric Dentistry. She assists with the annual Special Olympics event held in Chicago. Anne Brown Richards of Rock Island, Illinois, is sponsored by D. Spencer Pope. Anne is a trustee on the board of the Illinois State Dental Society for the Central North area and is on the board of the Illinois Society of Orthodontists. She has provided gratis orthodontic treatment in select charity cases identified by school nurses or local area dentists. Susan A. Rowan of Chicago, Illinois, sponsored by Susan B. Bishop. Susan is the Executive Associate Dean at the University of Illinois in Chicago at the College of Dentistry. She has been associated with the College of Dentistry since she received her DDS degree there. She has received the Irwin B. Robinson President's Leadership Award and has been the recipient of the Lloyd E. DeBrule Faculty Award. William A. Simon of Chicago, Illinois, sponsored by D. Spencer Pope. Bill is the President of the Northside Branch of the Chicago Dental Society and sits as a trustee on the Illinois State Dental Society Board as a trustee from Chicago. He is a speaker and a consultant for the American Association of Dental Office Managers. He also does pro bono dental care for the Old Irving Park Free Health Care Clinic. Kelly Skerritt of Chicago, Illinois, sponsored by Teresa B. Lau. Kelly is an assistant clinical professor at Midwestern College of Dental Medicine in Downers Grove in general dentistry. She has participated in numerous mission trips with her dental students. Lawrence P. Smith of Elmhurst, Illinois, sponsored by Joseph Richard Spurlazo. Lawrence is the clinical assistant professor at Midwestern College of Dental Medicine. 
He is currently the president of the Academy of General Dentistry and is a board member of the Illinois Academy of General Dentistry. He has done numerous mission trips with Doctors with a Heart and Bright Island Outreach. Origin from District 9, Dr. Stephen R. Harris of Farmington Hills, Michigan. Dr. Harris, will you please introduce your vice regent, deputy regents, and then present the fellows elect from your district. Mr. President, I would like to introduce and thank my District 9 officers. Vice Regent, Dr. Ned Murphy, Michigan Deputy Regent, Dr. Stephen Sofaro, Wisconsin Deputy Regent, Dr. Edward Chiera, who are instrumental in ensuring that we put forth such qualified and worthy candidates. I'd also like to thank the fellows of District 9 who have sponsored a candidate, passing on the honor they once received, moving our college ever forward. Now it's my distinct honor and privilege to present the outstanding 2021 candidates from District 9 for fellowship into the International College of Dentists. The Michigan chapter, Dr. Deborah E. Brown from Grand Rapids, Michigan, sponsored by Dr. Irene Tseng. Deb is an amazing leader with a passion for helping the underserved people everywhere. Throughout her career, her expertise in working with and improving the effectiveness of dental outcomes in community dental health centers can't be overstated. She currently is serving on the Michigan State Board of Dentistry and is active in the community of Grand Haven, working with the Kids Food Basket Program, volunteers addressing childhood hunger. Dr. Divesh Bairapagari from Northville, Michigan, sponsored by Dr. Mert Aksu. Divesh is a proven leader in dental education with a passion to improve those around him. He is the consummate mentor to students and faculty alike. With his extensive knowledge in public health, he was instrumental in seeking and developing University of Detroit Mercy's community outreach program expansion and has chaired the Give Kids a Smile program for several years. He is currently on several volunteer boards, Salvation Army Advisory, Malta Free Dental Clinic, and the Tri-County Dental Advisory, to name a few. Dr. James M. Cooper, Gross Point Woods, Michigan, sponsored by Dr. Irene Tseng. Jim is an accomplished leader in dentistry and his community, as he has been very active serving the MDA membership and citizens alike. He has been a standout volunteer to the Michigan Dental Association as a delegate and served on the Detroit District Dental Society Peer Review Dental Care Committee for many years. He has served as president of the Eastern Dental Society. And at the same time, Jim has taken on an active role in his community, Gross Point Shores, serving many commissions, boards, and was even elected mayor. He is a giving, compassionate man that wants only the best for everyone or every group he's involved in. Dr. Tenzin Dadul, Gross Point, Michigan, sponsored by Dr. Ahmad Malad Fard. Tenzin has devoted his career to serve his fellow man. His pro bono work in the remote villages and refugee camps in the Himalayans is inspiring. He brought dentistry, medical, and even cancer treatments to the underprivileged children and communities in Tibet, Nepal, and India. Here at the University of Detroit Mercy, he has brought a wealth of knowledge in radiology. His passion for digital 3D and 4D imaging has influenced and improved the departments of prosthodontics, endodontics, orthodontics, and oral diagnosis. Dr. Carlos Gonzalez Cabeza, Ann Arbor, Michigan, sponsored by Dr. Ronald Paler. As Director of Global Initiatives in Oral and Craniofacial Health at the University of Michigan, Carlos has truly embodied what the ICD was founded for. Through his work and development, students are afforded the opportunity to participate in the international student exchange experience with students in Brazil, Central America, Kenya, and Asia. 
Students from each country are able to both learn and pass on their knowledge of dentistry, just as Drs. Odafi and Okamura envisioned for the college worldwide 100 years ago. Dr. Stephen Shoha, Clinton Township, Michigan, sponsored by Dr. Christopher Gorecki. Steve is an unassuming leader, quietly doing whatever it takes to make a difference for the profession of dentistry. He has served on many committees for the Michigan Dental Association and the Macomb Dental Society. What makes him stand out is his drive to give back throughout his career. Steve has been involved in volunteering from the University of Michigan Mouth Guard Clinic to mission trips in Guatemala and donating his expert care to Mission of Mercy projects. He is always quick to volunteer where needed, living up to our ICD motto, serving others. Dr. Rachel Stockhausen, Livonia, Michigan, sponsored by Dr. Stephen Harris. Rachel has excelled as a leader in the Detroit District Dental Society, taking on many key committee positions, officer positions, and served as president. Rachel proudly represents the dental profession in many community outreach projects she volunteers at. Whether she is speaking to school children, performing dentistry at a Give Kids a Smile event, or a Mission of Mercy, Rachel gives of herself wholeheartedly. Her selflessness and enthusiasm will make our college more vibrant. Dr. Christy Andrette Thomas from Lathrop Village, Michigan, sponsored by Dr. Irene Seng. Christy is currently serving on the Michigan State Board of Dentistry, while she is also the director of the Community Dental Center for the University of Michigan School of Dentistry. Her strong desire to help people of all communities receive the dental care they need has her actively volunteering with the Michigan Dental Association Foundation's Mission of Mercy program and the Detroit Lions sponsored Team Smiles events in Detroit. Dr. Rodney Virgatine, Ann Arbor, Michigan, sponsored by Dr. Ricardo Mendoza. Dr. V, as he is affectionately known, has a long history of excellence and leadership in pediatric dentistry, both in private practice and in academics. He recently joined the faculty at the University of Michigan after many years at the University of Illinois Chicago Department of Pediatric Dentistry. His devotion to education and his passion for serving the underserved in missions and Special Olympics, smile, Special Smiles events does not go unnoticed. Welcome to Michigan and ICD. Dr. Hassan Yahia, Royal Oak, Michigan, sponsored by Dr. Irene Seng. Hassan is an active leader in humanitarian evidenced by his strong drive for volunteering and mentoring students at the University of Michigan Graduate Endo Program. Hassan continually gives of himself through his work with the MDA New Dentist Committee and appointment to the Michigan State Board of Dentistry. He volunteers with the Islamic Center of America's local food and clothing drives and Give Kids a Smile events in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Now the Wisconsin chapter, Dr. Scott Arbit, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, sponsored by Dr. D. Spencer Pope. Scott has been a true leader. Through the years, he has actively served on committees in many orthodontic associations and societies nationally and in Wisconsin. His community involvement runs deep as he is the Wisconsin program coordinator for Smiles Changes Lives providing free orthodontic care for families that otherwise couldn't afford care. He is active in his Rotary Club and the Guatemalan Medical Resources Partnership, providing medical, dental, vision, nutritional, and pharmacy care to the people of Oliveros, a community in desperate need of care. Dr. Ryan Doldy, Eagle, Wisconsin, sponsored by Dr. Edward Chera. Ryan's passion for involvement in organized dentistry started with his years of service in the ASTA chapter of Marquette University. 
He has quickly risen in the ranks of leadership in the Wisconsin Dental Association, serving on the Communications Committee, and as a delegate to the WDA House and the ADA House of Delegates, and is currently the editor of the Wisconsin Dental Association. Ryan is actively volunteering in community outreach programs, such as the Eagle Business Association and Wisconsin Mission of Mercy events. Dr. Deborah Palmer from Racine, Wisconsin, sponsored by Dr. Ned Murphy. Deb is an impressive leader and humanitarian with a long history of involvement in the Racine County Dental Society, Wisconsin Dental Association, and the Racine Area United Way for Dentists Committee. Her passion for serving others is demonstrated by her organizing, fundraising, and volunteering in countless dental mission trips, domestic and overseas. Deb's biggest contribution to dentistry may be passing on her passion to serve others to her daughter, Dr. Tiffany Smolkowski. Together, they are quite the team. Dr. Sharissa Pulapaka, Brookfield, Wisconsin, sponsored by Dr. Aditya Tadanata. Sharisha has the heart and soul of a true humanitarian, shown through her volunteer efforts to bring preventive dentistry to many underserved communities. That passion for community service has her participating in Special Olympics, Special Smiles, school-based sealant and fluoride programs. She frequently travels to India, where she is making a difference, volunteering with the Pulse Polio Eradication Project, vaccinating and educating the young mothers of the importance of polio vaccination. Dr. Joseph Smith, Waukesha, Wisconsin, sponsored by Dr. Joseph Best. Joe embodies the essence of ICD, sharing knowledge and expertise for the advancement of the dental profession through his countless lectures and journal articles. Impressively, Joe was awarded the Eagle Scout's highest honor, the Distinguished Eagle Scout Award, awarded to him by Wisconsin's governor, Scott Walker. Joe continually gives of himself, volunteering in local community Boy Scouts, community dental centers, and overseas mission trips. Dr. Tiffany Smolkowski, Racine, Wisconsin, sponsored by Dr. Ned Murphy. Tiffany is the second part of Wisconsin's dynamic duo, the mother-daughter team dentistry in Racine. Right away, Tiffany has immersed herself in service and leadership to the Racine County Dental Society, serving in all their positions and as an alternate delegate to the Wisconsin Dental Association House. She, along with her mother, Dr. Deborah Palmer, have volunteered in many domestic and overseas mission trips. And with the Nehemiah Network World Missions Donated Dental Services Program and the Racine Healthcare Network. Dr. Andrew E. Smith, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, sponsored by Dr. Ned Murphy. Andrew is an outstanding young leader in Wisconsin, serving on the boards of the Waukesha Dental Society and the Greater Milwaukee Dental Association. His dedication and service to the community is exemplary. He enthusiastically volunteered as one of the department leads for the Wisconsin Dental Association Mission of Mercy Project, and has risen up to currently become being the co-chair of the WDA MOM events. A region from District 10, Dr. Timothy R. Langeth of Duluth, Minnesota. Dr. Langeth, will you please introduce your vice regent, your deputy regents, and then present the fellows elect from your district. Thank you, Dr. Carr. I'm Tim Langeth, the regent for our five state district 10. And I would like to introduce our vice regent, Dr. Teresa Fong from Minnesota, and our deputy regents, Dr. Sarah Stufen from Iowa, Dr. Venetia Leganis from Minnesota, Dr. James Jenkins from Nebraska, Dr. Paul Transgard from North Dakota, and Dr. Grant Tietze from South Dakota. At this time, I'm very pleased to announce our candidates elect from District 10. Dr. Sindura Anamali is a radiologist at the University of Iowa. 
College of Dentistry and Dental Clinics. She began her studies in Tamil Nadu MGR Medical University, India, and continued her studies in radiology at the University of Iowa. She has dedicated her time outside of the University of Iowa to several missions for dental care in her home country. She is an advocate for young girls' education in her community in India, supporting an orphanage there and helping young girls financially in their schooling and college educations. Dr. Gary Anderson is a prosthodontist, comes from a strong dental family in Northern Minnesota. I've known Dr. Anderson for over 30 years with her common interest in treating facial pain. I tried to lure him to Duluth, Minnesota, but fortunately he stayed in the Minneapolis area where he has served our university well. At the University of Minnesota School of Dentistry, he has worked with oral facial pain and cleft and craniofacial programs. He became interim and then Dean of our dental school. He is an active volunteer in many committees in organized dentistry. A comment in his letter of recommendation states, what is notable is his ability and drive to get things done as a volunteer leader and not just go along for the ride. I have the privilege of having known Dr. Kimberly Lindquist for over 15 years when she came to Duluth to establish her endodontic practice. She has been an active volunteer and leader in our district and state dental societies. She served as co-chair for the Minnesota Mission of Mercy held in Duluth in 2015 and is involved with the National Dental Practice-Based Research Network. She is active in her church and community and has become a half marathon and marathon runner. Dr. Natalie Frost is a periodontist with her own practice in Omaha, Nebraska. She has received numerous awards and given multiple presentations in her field. She participates in the Nebraska Mission of Mercy. She is also very active in organized dentistry and enjoys running and playing the piano, along with being a mom to two children, ages three and six. I proudly present these individuals for fellowship in the International College of Dentists. Thank you. Regent from District 11, Dr. Thomas D. Pollard of Portland, Oregon. Dr. Pollard, will you please introduce your vice regent, your deputy regents, and then present the ICD fellows from your district. Thank you, Dr. Carr. I would like to now introduce my deputy regents for District 11, Dr. Phyllis L. Pendergrast, Fairbanks, Alaska, Dr. Spencer J. Lloyd, Caldwell, Idaho, Dr. David C. Keim, Kalispell, Montana, Dr. David Dowsett, Portland, Oregon, and Dr. Mary Krampaski Smith, Spokane, Washington. Now it's my honor to announce these outstanding candidates. Dr. Sean Charles Christensen, sponsored by Dr. Kim D. Keller, is from Napa, Idaho. Dr. Christensen has spent four years as an Army dentist one of those years in an advanced education in general dentistry program. Dr. Christensen is an AGD fellow and has been president of his local dental society. He has also served as a trustee for the Idaho State Dental Association and is no stranger to helping others in need. Dr. Christensen is very generous with his time in dentistry and his community community. He's also an Eagle Scout. Our next candidate, Dr. Daniel Petrozor, sponsored by Thomas D. Pollard. Dr. Petrozor is a maxillofacial surgeon and chair of the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery at Providence St. Vincent Hospital. He is also Director of Head and Neck Oncologic and Microvascular Reconstructive Surgery in the Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery at Oregon Health Science University. Somehow Dr. Petrozor still has time to run a private practice and be on the board of his local dental society and the Oregon Society of Maxillofacial Surgeons. 
He is also involved in many humanitarian efforts, both here and abroad. He's always more than willing to help provide CE to his fellow dentists, which is much appreciated. Our next candidate, Dr. Brian Thomas Turbo, sponsored by Kenise Y. Bean, is from West Lynn, Oregon. Dr. Turbo is a general dentist and an educator and serves as director of the Oregon Health Science University's pre-doctoral urgent care program. He was also program director of OHSU's general practice residency program. Dr. Turvo has been of great service to many universities and is a passionate mentor and educator. It is not surprising he has received many awards and accolades in his career. Our last candidate, Dr. Michaeli Aaron Moore Fujita, sponsored by Dr. Philip W. Madden, is from Auburn, Washington. Dr. Moore Fujita is involved with the Seattle King County Dental Society and serves as a representative to the Washington State Dental Association's House of Delegates. Dr. Moore Fujita has shown her dedication to volunteer dentistry, including dental care for disabled patients in rural Washington State and Smile Faith Dental Mission in Kentucky. And I am sure she's just getting started. We welcome all of you to the International College of Dentists. A region from District 12, Dr. Nikki C. Carter of Little Rock, Arkansas. Dr. Carter, will you please introduce your vice regent your deputy regents, and then present the fellows elect from your district. Thank you, Dr. Carr. District 12 vice regent is Dr. Steve Ortego. Our deputy regent for the Arkansas chapter is Dr. Mark Bailey. Our deputy regent for the Louisiana chapter is Dr. Christy Swallow. Deputy regent for the Oklahoma chapter is Dr. Douglas Ald. It is indeed an honor and a privilege to introduce to you today the following candidates for induction into the International College of Dentists as fellows. Troy D. Bartels, Jonesboro, Arkansas, sponsored by Robbins Mark Bailey. Troy is creator and founder of the DDS Foundation of Jonesboro, a private foundation designed to assist those in need with their dental health care in the Jonesboro area. Troy also is a member and director of the Jonesboro Church Health Center, which is committed to delivering health care and dental care for those in need. Dr. Ken Burley, Rogers, Arkansas, sponsored by Robbins Mark Bailey. Ken is a diplomate of the American Sleep and Breathing Academy and the American Board of Dental Sleep Medicine. He is also a fellow of the College of Legal Medicine and is an active member of the bar in the state of Arkansas and the state of Texas. Dr. John Jones, Little Rock, Arkansas, sponsored by Dr. Nikki C. Carter. Dr. Jones is an integral part of the Cliff Pallet team at Arkansas Children's Hospital and he also teaches residents and colleagues techniques in placing dental implants, reconstruction of the jaw structure, and treating trauma cases. Dr. Thomas B. Red of Little Rock, Arkansas, also sponsored by Dr. Nikki C. Carter. Dr. Red has traveled extensively in Europe, especially Romania, multiple times providing orthodontic treatment for orphans and those that are homeless. Dr. Red has also participated in the Domestic Violence Care Program and the Smile Again Program. It is my distinct privilege and honor to present candidates from the state of Louisiana for a fellowship in the ICD. Dr. Douglas W. Cross from New Orleans, Louisiana, sponsored by Dr. Christy Swallow. Throughout his career, Dr. Cross has strived to help the underserved of Louisiana through working in public and community health clinics, 
and as having been lead dentist to identify the victims of Hurricane Katrina. He has also championed policy changes and established a residency program to help improve access to care in the state. Dr. Isaac A. House from Houghton, Louisiana, sponsored by Dr. Christy Swallow. Dr. House enjoys serving the profession on the Louisiana State Board of Dentistry and as the Northwest Louisiana Dental Association president, he has received his mastership in the Academy of General Dentistry. Dr. Jeffrey A. Leesom from Metairie, Louisiana, sponsored by Dr. Christy M. Swallow. Dr. Leesom is a past president of the New Orleans Dental Association and is a current member of the Board of Directors for the Louisiana Dental Association. Thank you, Dr. Carter. It is my distinct honor and privilege to present the candidates from Oklahoma for induction as fellows to the International College of Dentistry. Justin L. Beasley from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, sponsored by Dr. W. B. Wynn. Justin is a Civil War buff and he has three wonderful daughters. Jeffrey Browerman from Tulsa, Oklahoma, sponsored by Dr. Robert Herman. He is an Air Force veteran and he's the proud father of seven sons. Sarah Fox from Tulsa, Oklahoma, sponsored by Dr. Lindsey Smith. Sarah loves art and painting and she is an advocate for pediatric heart patients. The Regent from District 13, Dr. Craig S. Yarborough. Dr. Yarborough, will you please introduce your Vice Regent, Deputy Regents, and present the fellows elect from your district. I am Craig Yarborough, Regent for the USA ICD District 13, California. Vice Regent Don Rolison, Deputy Regents Wallace Bellamy, Sadeg Namazaka, Cynthia Bradizani, Elizabeth DeMichaelis, and Donna Clauser and I are proud to induct 41 outstanding candidates from up and down California to the International College of Dentists. Let's begin with our Central California chapter under Deputy Regent Elizabeth DeMichaelis. I am proud to present the following candidates for the International College of Dentists. Paul Francis Peg Eisen, Clovis, California, sponsored by Elizabeth Ann DeMichaelis. Dr. Eisen has served as president of the Talari Kings Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteered for seven CDA CARES events in six different cities. Rommel Ball, Stockton, California, sponsored by Lyndon S. Lowe, Dr. Ball has served as president of the San Joaquin Dental Society and contributing editor of the California Dental Association and volunteered as a member of the Give Kids a Smile Committee since 2010. Richard W. Barnes, Visalia, California, sponsored by Elizabeth Ann DeMichaelis. Dr. Barnes has served as president of the Tulare Kings Dental Society and a trustee of the California Dental Association and volunteered at every CDA CARES events since 2014. Brian Bell, Tulare, California, sponsored by Elizabeth Ann DeMichaelis. Dr. Bell has served as president of the Tulare Kings Dental Society and been a delegate to the ADA House. For the past decade, he has been an assistant youth leader in his local church. Marshall B. Che, Bakersfield, California, Sponsored by Thomas Hal Stewart, Dr. Che has served as president of the Kern County Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteered and mentored for UCLA's Global Medical Missions Alliance since 2016. Lawan Michelle Hall, Brentwood, California. Sponsored by Donald P. Rolison. Dr. Hall has served as president of the University of California, San Francisco Alumni Association and volunteered as a pediatric clinical instructor at the Zuckerberg UCSF 
General Hospital. Hector Hernandez Villa Blauzo, Hanford, California. Sponsored by Ronald E. Fritz. Dr. Hernandez Villa Blauzo is founder of Dentistry Over the Wall, a continuing education online platform and volunteered for international dental mission projects in Ghana, Togo, and the Philippines. Bonnie Moorhead, Manteca, California, sponsored by Bruce Gordon Toy. Dr. Moorhead has served as president of the San Joaquin Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteers at the St. Mary's Dining Hall at the St. Rafael's Dental Clinic in Stockton, California. Peter T. Soderstrom, Modesto, California, sponsored by Elizabeth Ann DeMichlis. Dr. Soderstrom has served as president of the Stanislaus Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteered at nearly all of the CDA CARES events since 2012 as lead prosthodontist. Kenneth W. Tittle, Pleasant Hill, California, sponsored by Alice H. Tai. Dr. Tittle has served as president of the California State Association of Endodontists and volunteered as multiple CDA CARES events as a lead endodontist. Scott Allen Wallace, Bakersfield, California, sponsored by Thomas Hal Stewart. Dr. Wallace has served as president of the Kern County Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteers as finance committee chair for his church in Bakersfield, California. I'm Sadr Nemazicha. I serve as deputy region of Los Angeles, California, District 13. It's an honor to present the following as candidate for fellowship of International College of Dentists. Raisa Abazova, Pasadena, California, sponsored by Donna Karen Clauser. Dr. Abuzova serves as Vice President of the San Gabriel Valley Dental Society of the California Dental Association and has volunteered as oral health representative of the San Gabriel Unified School District since 2017. Chitan Chetty, Los Angeles, California, is sponsored by Cheryl Diane Goldsage. Dr. Chetty has served as president of the California Academy of General Dentistry and was a volunteer and member of the Rotary Club of Northeast Los Angeles. Gerald I. Drury, Hermoso Beach, California, is sponsored by Christy Marcia Swallow. Dr. Drury served as president of the California Society of Periodontitis and volunteer for Give Kids a Smile event in Los Angeles. Arash Ahamian, Beverly Hills, California, is sponsored by Kianur Shah Mohammadi. Dr. Ahamian is co-founder and on faculty of the Global Dental Implant Academy and volunteer for more than 20 mission trips to Guatemala. Emin Narenda Joshi, Pomona, California, is sponsored by Arthur Dale Gage. Dr. Joshi has been practicing general dentistry in California for more than 10 years and is president of the Tri-County Dental Society, a component of the California Dental Association. Chin Hook Jeff Lee, Los Angeles, California, Sponsored by M. Sadr Namazikha. Dr. Lee served as president-elect of the Los Angeles Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteered as a mentor for the pre-dental internship program under the Korean American Dental Association. Max Martinez, Paramount, California. Sponsored by Craig Stephen Yarbrook. Dr. Martinez will be the incoming secretary of the California Dental Association and has volunteered for more than 27 years as a member of the Paramount Chamber of the Commerce Executive Board. 
Mark Cyrus Mehrali, Camarillo, California, is sponsored by Richard Stewart Green. Dr. Mehrali serves as the coordinating dentist for the annual Ventura County Veterans a stand down event and has volunteered for 40 years as an ocean lifeguard for the Los Angeles County Fire Department. Sherwin Mulayan, Beverly Hills, California, is sponsored by M. Sadiq Namazikha. Dr. Mulayan was the founder of the, both the USC and UCLA Journal of the Dental Research and volunteers for the Hope Foundation providing resources to the neediest in the community. Greg Tartakov, Santa Monica, California, is sponsored by Dennis Tartakov. Dr. Tartakov serves as Associate Editor-in-Chief for Ortho Tribune with Dental Tribune International and volunteers as a panelist for the Santa Monica High School Samohi Carrier Day. Wallace Bellamy, Deputy Regent for Northern California Chapter of USA ICD, District 13, California. I'm very proud to induct our newest members. Brock E. Hinton, Granite Bay, California, sponsored by Donald P. Rolfson. Dr. Hinton serves on the Board of Directors of the Sacramento District Dental Society of the California Dental Association and has volunteered at multiple CDA CARES and California Care Force events. Brian Judd, Roseville, California, sponsored by Wallace Bellamy. Dr. Judd has served as president of the Sacramento District Dental Society for the California Dental Association and volunteered for multiple CDA CARES events. Glenn a. Middleton, Sacramento, California, sponsored by Wallace Bellamy. Dr. Middleton has served as president of the Sacramento chapter of the National Dental Association and mentored for Yes for College for Kids since 2012. John Pasparella, Red Bluff, California, sponsored by William Jeffrey Moore, Dr. Pasparella has served as president of the Northern California Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteered for global dental missions to both Fiji and Jamaica. Tim J. Patel, Walnut Creek, California, sponsored by Daniel M. Castagna. Dr. Tim Patel has a patent for a tooth mobility measuring apparatus and volunteered for CDA CARES Stockton. Viren R. Patel, Folsom, California, sponsored by James Donald Sanderson. Dr. Baron Patel served as president of the Sacramento District Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteered for multiple CDA CARES events. Latha G. Subramanian, Mountain View, California, sponsored by Jean Louise Creasy. Dr. Subramanian, is a founding member of the Women's Committee of Santa Clara County Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteered for multiple CDA CARES events. Yogita Thakur, East Palo Alto, California, sponsored by Aaron L. Shaw. Dr. Thakur is a current member of the American Dental Association Committee on Telehealth and has volunteered for the CDA CARES San Mateo event. Timothy Wally, Napa, California, sponsored by Ronald E. Fritz. Dr. Wally has served as board of directors at large of the Napa Solano Dental Society of the California Dental Association and founded BETS, B-E-T-S, Veterans Excited to Smile, Mobile Dental Unit. Erica Woodson, San Francisco, California, sponsored by Wallace Bellamy. Dr. Woodson currently served as Major General Dentist in the United States Air Force Station in Alaska and volunteered as a faculty member for the University of the Pacific Arthur A. Dagoni School of Dentistry. I'm Don Rolfson. I'm the Vice Regent of the District 13 Chapter of the International College of Dentists. I have the honor today to stand in for our wonderful Deputy Regent, Donna Clauser, Tina Beck, San Diego, California, sponsored by D. Douglas Cassidy. 
Dr. Beck currently serves as president of the San Diego County Dental Society and is a volunteer clinical instructor at the Department of Family Medicine and Public Health for the University of California, San Diego Health Sciences. Kathleen C. Wang, Monrovia, California, sponsored by Donna Karen Plazer. Dr. Wang served as a member of the new dentist committee for the San Gabriel Valley Dental Society and volunteered globally for two years on a dental mission trip to Corazon de Vida orphanages in Mexico. Chu Chris Pham, San Diego, California, sponsored by Craig Stephen Yarborough. Dr. Pham served as president of the San Diego County Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteered on dental missions globally to Mexico, Guatemala, and Vietnam. Irvin B. Silverstein, San Diego, California, sponsored by Craig Stephen Yarborough. Dr. Silverstein has served as director and advisor for 18 years for the University of California, San Diego Pre-Dental Society and has volunteered as director of the UCSD Navy Liaison since 2006 for humanitarian missions across the United States and to Southeast Asia. Kurt Stormberg, San Diego, California, sponsored by Donald P. Rollinson. Dr. Stormberg served as president of the Pacific Coast Society of Orthodontists and volunteered at the CDA Cares San Diego event. Michael Shui K. Young, Pasadena, California, sponsored by Donna Karen Glazer. Dr. Young served as a board member on the San Gabriel Valley Foundation for Dental Health and has volunteered annually since 2004 for the Give Kids a Smile program. I'm Cynthia K. Bratazani, Deputy Regent of the Northern California Chapter of the International College of Dentists, District 13, California. It's an honor for me to present these following candidates for the San Francisco Chapter. Corey R. Acri, Modesto, California sponsored by Bulkmar Issam Falevi. Dr. Acri served as president of the Stanislaus Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteered for a decade with the Nineveh Ministries Community Dental Van. Carson Bentley, San Francisco, California, sponsored by Craig Stephen Yarbrough. Dr. Bentley serves as the current secretary of the San Francisco Dental Society and volunteered at multiple CDA CARES events, serving as area lead in orientation and sterilization. Courtney K. Fitzpatrick, San Francisco, California, sponsored by Wayne Del Carr. Dr. Fitzpatrick has served as president of the San Francisco Dental Society and her volunteer efforts on multiple committees were recognized when she was awarded San Francisco Dental Society Committee Person of the Year. Carlos J. Nadero, San Francisco, California, sponsored by Wayne Del Carlo. Dr. Nadero has served as president of the San Francisco Dental Society of the California Dental Association and volunteered during the COVID pandemic, dispensing PPE to dentists in need. The region from District 14, Dr. David K. O'Connell of Salt Lake City, Utah. Dr. O'Connell, will you please introduce your vice regents, your deputy regents, and then present the fellows elect from your district. Thank you, Dr. Carr. I would like to recognize my District 14 vice regent, Dr. W. Brian Poley from Arizona, along with the deputy regents from the seven states of District 14. They are Arizona, Dr. W. Brian Poley, Colorado, Dr. Karen Foster, who is also region-elect of District 14. Hawaii, Dr. Russell Tom. Nevada, Dr. Dan Orr. New Mexico, Dr. David Moore. Utah, Dr. Gary Wiest. Wyoming, Dr. Jerry Donahue. Many thanks to the leaders of ICD USA District 14. It is now my privilege to announce the fellows elect for the International College of Dentists from District 14. Layla B. Highshaw, Tucson, Arizona, sponsored by Casey Brooke Jensen. Dr. Layla Highshaw has combined her experience as a busy mother and expertise as a pediatric dentist to provide a book and website that supports young parents. She also founded the Diversity and Dentistry Mentorships Incorporated to mentor our future 
Dentist. Ronald Huffman, Cave Creek, Arizona. Sponsored by Brian Wilson. Dr. Huffman is a general dentist who has a long record of service as an adjunct faculty member for both dental and dental hygiene schools and has recently become a board examiner of CDCA and NERB. He regularly volunteers his time for Give Kids a Smile, Mission of Mercy, dental school-based free dental programs, special needs patients, and dental treatment for the homeless. Fatuma A. Osman, Scottsdale, Arizona, sponsored by William Abel Brockvogel. Dr. Osman is a respected member of the clinical faculty at Midwestern University in Arizona. She has a passion for dental treatment of the underserved as she regularly volunteers for Give Kids a Smile, Mission of Mercy, as well as humanitarian service trips to Samoa. Raymond Minoro Tanaka, Glendale, Arizona, sponsored by W. Brian Poli. Dr. Poli is proud to sponsor Dr. Ray Tanaka as Dr. Tanaka is an active and important member of the local dental community in Arizona. His dedication and many years of service to Mission of Mercy events in Central Arizona are commendable. Chris Brady, Colorado Springs, Colorado, sponsored by Jose Luis Cesaris. Dr. Brady is an author, practice transitions expert, and motivational speaker. He has spoken to groups all across the U.S., including the American Academy of Dental Practice, and has been a featured and keynote speaker at the American Academy of Cosmetic Dentistry. As founder of the Brady Group, Dr. Brady has successfully coached many dentists and their staffs into living a more complete, fulfilling life by realizing that life needs a balance of family and profession. Cameron Y. S. Lee, IA -A Hawaii, sponsored by John Byron Suzuki. Professor Cameron Lee has presented at national dental meetings and at multiple continuing education programs at Temple University's graduate periodontology and oral implantology programs, featuring his research on bone biology. Professor Lee continues to publish in clinical areas involving osteonecrosis of the jaw and complications of patients on a variety of medications, including Reclast and Prolia. Don McClellan, Las Vegas, Nevada, sponsored by Oriona Lowe. Dr. Don McClellan has participated with the Kellogg Leadership Institute in Chicago. She is a person who has created special programs to provide oral care and services to the underserved and underprivileged communities here and abroad. A compassionate humanitarian, Dr. McClellan is the co-founder of Dental Care International, whose mission is to promote education and provide low-income families with dental care. She founded a dental assisting training program in Sri Lanka for underprivileged girls, many of whom were abused and orphaned, giving them an education, developing their self-esteem and confidence to succeed in life. Robin S. Barron, Albuquerque, New Mexico, sponsored by David James Manzanares. Dr. Barron is a general dentist who exemplifies the qualities we should seek in every dentist. He was a uniformed officer in the Indian Health Service, serving as the chief of the complex dental unit at Fort Defiance Indian Hospital. In 2000, he was recognized as the Senior Clinician of the Year. He retired with the rank of captain and holds both a fellowship and a mastership in the Academy of General Dentistry. He is a longtime delegate to the New Mexico Dental Association House of Delegates and served for several years as a trustee to the New Mexico Dental Association Board of Trustees. Bridget R. Burris, Las Cruces, New Mexico, sponsored by Donna G. Miller. Dr. Bridget Burris is a general dentist who has transferred these skills to perform dentistry on animals at the El Paso Zoo. She also volunteers her time to treat human patients on missionary dental trips to Honduras, Guatemala, and Mexico, along with participation with the New Mexico Mission of Mercy events. Kimberly Martin, Las Cruces, New Mexico, sponsored by David James Manzanares. Dr. Martin is a general dentist who has given back to the people of New Mexico as a member of the New Mexico Board of Dental Health Care. 
She was a past program chair of the New Mexico Dental Association Foundation's Mission of Mercy at both of the events that have been held in Las Cruces. She is the current president of the New Mexico Dental Association and a part-time faculty member at the Woody Hunt School of Dentistry in El Paso. David Adams, Salt Lake City, Utah, sponsored by Leslie Robin Halpern. Dr. Adams has helped many who have been denied access to oral health care globally as both an oral surgeon and humanitarian. He has excelled as a scholar with numerous publications that decipher a more thorough medical assessment of patients for oral health care. Kamran H. Awan, Salt Lake City, Utah, sponsored by William Brent Carroll. Dr. Kamran Awan was recently appointed to be the director of the new Masters in Health Sciences program at Roseman University School of Dentistry, in which there are 11 graduate students. He is an ongoing researcher with four articles published in the last six months. Dr. Awan is a founding member and an officer of the Utah chapter of the American Association of Dental Research. Jerry Bullock, Salt Lake City, Utah, sponsored by David K. O'Connell. Dr. Jerry Bullock has participated in, in the IDEA Summer Program for Emerging Academic Leaders for Dental Education. She has been very active on numerous committees at the University of Utah School of Dentistry, including co-director of admissions. She was recently appointed the Associate Dean for Clinical Affairs at the University of Utah School of Dentistry. She has attained this status at a very early stage of her academic career. Nathan Chandler, Salt Lake City, Utah, sponsored by David K. O'Connell. Dr. Chandler has a lifetime of serving the profession of dentistry, beginning with his service with the Indian Health Service. He now provides leadership as a group practice leader at the University of Utah School of Dentistry. Outside of dentistry, Dr. Chandler has been a volunteer football coach at the high school level. He has coached 14 young men who have gone on to college and pro careers, with his most famous player being Zach Wilson of the New York Jets, the number two overall draft choice of the recent NFL draft. Jeremy Goderidge, Syracuse, Utah, sponsored by William Brent Carroll. Dr. Jeremy Goderidge is the Assistant Dean for Clinical Education and Patient Care at Roseman University School of Dentistry. He oversaw the opening of the new high-tech state-of-the-art clinic on the third floor on October 1st. He is an active ongoing researcher in dental education with a focus on block curriculum education. Rachana Ashok Hegde, Draper, Utah sponsored by Carl R. Kerner. Dr. Hegde has been a periodontal educator with Roseman University School of Dentistry. She has been very involved with the development of this young school, participating on many committees of importance. Her leadership extends beyond the dental school as she currently serves as president of the Intermountain Society of Periodontists. Holly D. Sharp, Bountiful, Utah, sponsored by David K. O'Connell. Dr. Holly Sharp has been involved in leadership at two different dental schools, the University of Texas School of Dentistry at Houston and the University of Utah School of Dentistry. She rose to clinic director at both schools in a short period of time. An avid outdoorsman, Dr. Sharp is especially involved with cycling activities, often leading excursions for others. Daniel Tunnell, Salt Lake City, Utah, sponsored by David K. O'Connell. Dr. Daniel Tunnell has been involved with periodontal education of dental students and general practice residents for nearly 10 years. He is a committed educator, often spending time after hours to help students, all while maintaining a busy periodontal practice. He is also involved with volunteer leadership as he is a past president of the Intermountain Society of Periodontists and has served on national and district committees for the American Academy of Periodontology. This concludes this year's introduction of the fellows elect of the International College of Dentists from District 14. Thank you, President Carr. Regent from District 15, Dr. J.C. Adkins of Lubbock, Texas. Dr. Adkins, will you please introduce your vice regent, your deputy regents, and then present the fellows elect from your district. Thank you, Dr. Carr. I would like to introduce our slate of officers for District 15. Our vice regent is Dr. Roland Davies. Past, he's the past uh, distinguished deputy regent. Our deputy regent is Gus Gates. He was the distinguished deputy regent in 2019. I'll now uh, introduce our slate of, of fellows to be for 2021.
Dr. Zaheba Med, sponsored by Dr. Christine Miners. Dr. Ahmed is a member of the prestigious Golden Key International Honor Society. While he was at Nova Southeastern University receiving his Master's of Public Health, Dr. Ahmed conducted research examining socioeconomic factors of tobacco usage uh, and beetle products usage among dental service utilizers in Karachi, Pakistan. Dr. Jessica Brigadi, sponsored by Partha Mukherjee. Dr. Bhargadji is a, is a speaker for Cable Cur about TerraView technology. This rainbow room and salt and light dental clinic volunteer is also a triathlete. Dr. Christian Cabello, sponsored by Dr. Jose Luis Cazares. This pediatric dentist received the ADA Certificate of Recognition for Meritorious Service to the people in Uganda, Africa. Dr. Cabello is a Tanaka Award nominee and has participated in dental missions in Guatemala and Mexico also. Siddhartha Chandrupacha, sponsored by Dr. Christine Miners. Dr. Chandrupacha is a diplomat of the ABD Public Health and was co-chair of the Educational Affairs Committee of the American Association of Dental Public Health. Dr. Chandrupacha is adjunct faculty at Harvard School of Dental Medicine. Dr. Emily Conley was sponsored by Dr. Matthew James Heck. Dr. Conley is an organizer and host of Freedom Day USA since 2015. She provides free dental care to veterans and their immediate family. She has also traveled to Haiti for dental missions. Dr. Conley co-chaired the Lone Star Dental Conference in 2020. Dr. William John Cruz, sponsored by Richard Michael Potter, Dr. Cruz volunteered for 16 years with the San Antonio Christian Dental Clinic and served on the board of Smiles for a Lifetime from 2014 to 2019. This Army Veterans Humanitarian Activities include Taking It to the Streets, Texas Missions of Mercy, and the Haitian Student Support Efforts. Dr. Sohini Dar, sponsored by Jose Ignacio Alamo, Dr. Dar's leadership is evident by past chair of the Texas Public Health Association, serves on the Council on Education Affairs of the Texas Oral Health Coalition, is board certified in dental public health and served as regional coordinator for regional oral health networks. Michael W. Ford, sponsored by Dr. Gus Gates, Dr. Ford served as the Chief of Endodontics at Fort Hood, Texas from 1995 to 2001 and was Troop Commander, U.S. Army Dental Activity at Fort Rucker, Alabama in the 1990s. Retired from the military, Dr. Ford's colleagues in Temple, Texas commend him for his patient-centered endodontic practice and by improving the quality of care in their area by presenting complimentary endodontic updates to all of the local practitioners. Dr. Corbin Gatlin, sponsored by Dr. John Williamson. Although Dr. Gatlin graduated in 2019 from his LSU Health Science Center Oral and Maxillofacial Residency, he is well known in the Texas Dental Association Smiles Foundation because he has been a volunteer at TMOMS since his undergraduate days at Texas A&M University. Dr. Gatlin was a student mentor in the Great Expectations Program at Baylor College of Dentistry, which is near and dear to the hearts of District 15 ICD Fellows. He is currently a new dentist committee member of the TDASF while building his oral surgery practice. Dr. Cynthia Lynn Graves, sponsored by Dr. Donna G. Miller, while in school, Dr. Graves served as secretary treasurer of the University of Texas Longhorn Band and was the outstanding senior of Delta Sigma Dental while at Baylor College of Dentistry. Dr. Graves continues her leadership in the community and has served as treasurer and chair of committees as part of the Pflugerville ISD Board of Trustees. Dr. Cameron Brian Herring, sponsored by TJ Randers, one of the ways Brian Herring improves his community is by serving on the City of Lubbock Board of Health. He has served as president for two terms. He has been president of the South Plains District Dental Society, 
and participated and chaired Give Kids a Smile events for the last 17 years. Dr. Christopher Hoffpower, sponsored by Dr. Karen Elise Walters. Dr. Hoffpower gives back to his profession by applying his massive CE commitment to speaking and sharing with others. He was a speaker on the Dentistry's Got Talent panel at the 2021 Dental Festival in Miami, Florida. He presented Connecting Beyond Social Media at the Delivering Wow Summit also. Dr. Amit Merchant. He is sponsored by Anna uh, Kiyohani. Dr. Merchant served as chairman of the Aga Khan Health Board for Central United States. His volunteer efforts also include past presidency of the Ismaili Health Professions Association for all of the Central United States. Dr. Jill Michaels, sponsored by Donna Miller. The creative aspects of dentistry has spilled over into Dr. Michaels' personal life. Visual art has evolved into a passion and she has served on the board and as chair of the Art Center of Waco, guiding the center through its building camp. Admirably, she has volunteered as a substitute teacher and enjoys educating school-aged children about the importance of dental hygiene. Dr. Jeffrey Allen Nelson, sponsored by Dr. Partha Mukherjee. Dr. Nelson's community benefits from his leadership. President of Rotary, Greenville Christian School Board Chair, and deacon in his church. He has also participated in dental mission trips to Honduras and the Dominican Republic, and that shows his humanitarian commitment. Dr. Zishan Rajan, sponsored by Dr. Jose Ignacio Alamo. Dr. Raja holds a Master of Public Health and serves as president and serves as president of the student chapter of the Association of Public Health Dentistry at the University of California, San Francisco. Dr. Raja has research experience in tobacco use prevention programs, the Center to Address Disparity in Oral Health, and at the New York Hispanic Dental Association from 2018 until currently, in addition to his practice. Dr. Shelley Sadel, sponsored by Dr. Karen Elise Walters. This distinguished and busy Amos member is the 2022 chair of the Star of the South Dental Conference and will serve as president of the Greater Houston Dental Society 2022-2023. And finally, Reginald Taylor, sponsored by Dr. Claude Stevens. Dr. Taylor has been a CODA consultant for the Texas Dental Association for multiple years. He is a tenured professor in orthodontics at Texas A&M College of Dentistry and received many, many grants and has participated in numerous research projects. Among those, an NIH Individual Dentist Scientist Award grant of $350,000. He received a UAB Minority Faculty Recruitment Award, as well as a $200,000 grant for Minority Supplement to an NIDR grant. I'm impressed and excited about our new fellows. We will see you next year in Houston for a fantastic in-person convocation and fellowship orientation program, the first since 2019. Now we have some exciting messages to share with you from four of our ICD fellows who sit in leadership positions in national dental organizations. First, we have Dr. Cesar Sabataz, president of the American Dental Association. Dr. Sabataz. Hello, International College of Dentists. I'm Dr. Cesar Sabatis, president of the American Dental Association. On behalf of your colleagues at the ADA, congratulations to the 2021 ICD Fellows. Your fellowship within the ICD is a momentous honor, and it signifies your dedication to the healing profession of dentistry. Today, you're joining more than 12,000 ICD Fellows whose leadership and contributions have set a standard for excellence in dentistry around the world. As the college enters its second century, the ADA celebrates its impact and stands as a partner in the ICD's universal model, the recognition of service and the opportunity to serve. Thank you 
for all that you do to advance dentistry for the benefit of all mankind. Once again, congratulations from the American Dental Association. Our second message is from Dr. Karen West, President and CEO of the American Dental Education Association. Dr. West. Greetings, fellows. I am Dr. Karen West, President and CEO of the American Dental Education Association. It is my pleasure to join you today and offer my congratulations on your induction as fellows of the International College of Dentists. I speak to you as a fellow fellow, so I know this achievement did not come easily. Your status as fellows speak to your laudable professional accomplishments, as well as your service and dedication to the advancement of dentistry. Thank you for all that you have done and will continue to do. Your honor comes at an exciting time for the field. Increasingly, oral health is recognized as a critical component of overall well being. I have no doubt that your continued leadership means that we will see an even greater appreciation for the role that oral health continues to play in keeping our communities healthy. Thank you again and best wishes to you and your families. Congratulations. Next, we have Dr. Rosa Chaviano Moran, president of the Hispanic Dental Association. Dr. Chaviano Moran. Hello, and welcome to the induction of new fellows into the International College of Dentists, class of 2021. I am Rosa Chaviano Moran, the 2021 president of the Hispanic Dental Association, and Associate Dean for Admissions at Rucker School of Dental Medicine. I am honored to have been chosen by the International College to provide congratulatory remarks to all of you today, our new fellows. We recognize your passion, your accomplishments, your positive impact in oral health. These are very exciting times at the International College of Dentists. We can make a difference. I had the privilege of becoming an ICD fellow back in 2018. What a great opportunity for me. It empowered me to continue with my focus, diversifying our dental institutions and our workforce. Being a fellow in ICD allows me to showcase our amazing profession and the need for more of us, the dentists, the oral health care providers, focus on the oral health of our communities, and overall health in opening channels to provide care and access around the world, especially to those underrepresented and marginalized. It drives me to continue advancing dental education, not only nationally, but globally. Your leadership, your service, dedication, and tenacity will continue advancing our profession. Let us share our skills, our resources, our best practices with all of our sisters and brothers in the world of dentistry. My most sincere congratulations. Felicidades. Our last message to share is from Dr. Sheila Armstrong, immediate past president of the National Dental Association. Dr. Armstrong. Good afternoon. I am Dr. Sheila L. Armstrong the immediate past president of the National Dental Association. I am also a fellow of the International College of Dentists, class of 2017. International College of Dentists, class of 2021, congratulations. I would like to congratulate and welcome each of the distinguished leaders of this class. It is truly an honor to be recognized for your leadership the commitment that you make to your communities and patients and your humanitarian efforts in the field of dentistry. I salute and applaud you. Congratulations. We would like to thank all of these outstanding leaders for taking the time to share these special messages of congratulations on your induction as new fellows in the International College of Dentists. Ladies and gentlemen, being awarded fellowship in the International College of Dentists 
is not the end of a journey, but the beginning of a new challenge. We charge you to continue your involvement in significant leadership roles, service activities, and humanitarian opportunities, including those sponsored by the worldwide ICD and the USA section. Once again, thank you for your energy and commitment to the betterment of our profession. We extend our sincere congratulations to you and welcome you to the ICD family. This completes the induction ceremony. We wish to extend our warmest thanks to our pianist this afternoon, fellow T. Bob Davis of Dallas, Texas. Not only is he an accomplished pianist, but he was also the ICD's 2020 Distinguished Humanitarian. Congratulations and thank you, T. Bob. May God richly bless each of you. Thank you.